While the Allies worked on driving the Iraqis out of Kuwait by force, the Kuwaiti resistance movement did what it could inside the country. These men, now wearing army uniforms, were once civilians doing the dangerous job of making the Iraqis stay in their country as unpleasant as they possibly could. All the Kuwaiti who lived in Kuwait, it was resistance. We, we call them, all of us who are resistant, but there is different kind of resistance. There is a weapon resistance and there is peaceful re resistance. And I mean, armed resistance. Uh, so, in the beginning we start trying to shoot them in the dark, where, where they kept from far away. But we can't do anything because they are well protected and they have uh, tanks, RPGs, so they shoot any place that the bullet come from too. So I destroyed. To me, I didn't shoot any Iraqis, but what I did, it's uh, a lot of Kuwaiti doctors help us. They, they give us some poison with the injection. So we start injection, the juices, the, the, the orange, the apple, and we gave it, gave it to the soldiers as a way of trying to express for them that we want you here. Okay, we are friend, friend to you. And we, we, when you give them the food, we run away. But it's starting getting more difficult because we can't get the poison, we can't get the injection and the, the soldiers they they can they don't take anything from us because they heard what what we are doing to them and we start making groups and that's what's happened exactly in all kuwait every neighborhood there is a, you can say five to, to thirty group different group everybody separate this is in the beginning and nobody can control us because we because we know each other we started that's all we start you know attacking uh, Checking points, Iraqi checking points, uh, headquarters, police station. But in the beginning, it was the biggest mistake we made because, uh, yeah, we killed a lot of Iraqi. We attacked them. We met, let them scare. We we let them know that we don't want them here. But uh, they start paying us back with the civilians. You know, if they can't catch us, will they catch anybody who he don't know anything about anything and he get tortured and excuse it.